Welcome to another episode of Review Advent Calendar 2023. This one we are going to cover Buraika We Do or Die. This was a suggestion by many people, but for for starters it is by Sky Lin Will and Fanny or Fanny. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. So let's check this song out and see what Buraika is all about in Do or Die. To start off, we have West Coast vibes in here. I do love those a whole lot. Those are classic West Coast vibes going on. That's, there's a little bit of a bounce in there, that's a little bit of funk in there, it is fun, for starters. Uh, if I do have a big criteria when I'm reviewing hip-hop music. If within the very first seconds I do not react to it, it's because the song may be throwing me off. If a song instantly makes me want to bounce alongside, it is a really good sign. Kesho Ono has a really good flow, in case you haven't noticed. Uh, he really is incisive when he wants to, but he really can keep up with a really good flow that has a, a lot of flair, and it is a really interesting flair going on in there. I do not even know how to start explaining it. The, the tone is a bit rough, but it isn't necessarily rough. He's trying to sound like a tough guy. He sounds like a tough guy, but he it has a layer. He has a, le a little bit of a layer of effort put in there to sound like a tough guy. Uh, and then, of course, may I talk about uh, Junichi Suabe and how amazing he is? Because, goddamn, that voice. <laughs> Dreamy uh, distorted piano hit going on in there. Oh, now you bring me <laughs> funky guitars and Junichi Suave on the same place. Well, this is how you make things really difficult for me. Especially because I love Junichi Suave's voice. And I do love a really good funky guitar going on in there. So you can really tell that this is classic West Coast vibes going on in here. At least, yeah, that's what I feel. The electric guitar going on in there. I love when a rap song or a hip hop song in this case goes quiet for a bit and then the beat rejoins the song or the rest instruments rejoin the song. I do love that kind of break beat and stop and then you resume. I 
so so crazy how how good this song feels i get that feeling that this is a song for late summer uh or even the summer it feels like that to me it feels like ah this is going to sound cliche but those music videos from the 80s in which a rapper is riding a, a low rider car well it's it gives me that whole vibe slowly driving along the seashore that low rider and enjoying the beat a really bouncy deep bassy beat which is the, the case in here and i do love that the guitar comes to complement Junichi Suave's voice, if you know Suave, he does have a really low voice, booming, sweet and sexy at the same time uh, type of voice and that sultriness works so well with something a bit higher in tone and that is in some way screaming but not necessarily screaming. It is funky at the same time that it is screaming. So it is a really nice touch to add that guitar in there. Then we have the beat. It's almost shuffle-like and I do love. It is breakbeat. I reckon it is a breakbeat. I would have to pay much more attention to the beat uh, to actually say something with more confidence. Mind you, this is the very first time diving into this song for real. I have checked uh, bits and pieces because I had to previously, but first time to listen to this song for as a whole. Ooh, strings and scenes. One for the show time, two for the line. Kuso suda ka yakusu da sai. Kichi to deru ka, kyo to deru ka. Deta toko shoubu osoreru na. Stage wa maru de boto game sa. Bluff de mo kakero kyo mo teru da. Kubarare ta kado narabete mina. Kudarame to iwasu yatte mina. Just listen to this beat without any vocals. Wow. <laughs> wow, this is this is one of those moments in which I am thankful that you guys actually suggest me songs to listen to that I have been postponing the reviews because I do not have the free time to actually grab those CDs and actually dedicate time to reviewing those. But oh boy, what I have been missing out on Paradox Live this year because Buraika, do or die. Wow, and let me tell you, this is amazing. This is amazing. I do love when a song has those West Coast 80s, West Coast, late 80s, early 90s, West Coast vibes. Laid back music, G Funk almost, but this time around, of course, this is not G Funk, um, but has some vibes in here. It is laid back. I do love when hip hop music sounds so good like this. It is quite simple. You have a break beat, you have a bass line, a synth, a synth that appears in the background to create the atmosphere for these to give it a dreamy vibe. But then you you also have that electric guitar to give you a funky twist to, to the song, but also serving as a perfect complement and contrast in this case to Junichi Suabe's voice. Also, when Kensho Ono and Junichi Suabe are performing together, they are unbelievably good. You have a really good tenor with a really good bass singer and you do have the perfect contrast in which they do not over, basically overlap and they get the spotlight in, in unequal measures despite being performing at the same time uh, so this is this is amazing and yet again Buraika they did have an amazing debut song then the second song I didn't enjoy that much I don't recall the, num the, the name itself Do or Die Oof, sounds good <laughs> uh, 
Sounds good and sounds like a song that I will be listening to on repeat. So this is for sure a song that I will be listening to on repeat. I do love hip hop a whole lot, but hip hop that makes sense. Uh, nowadays, hip hop music is mostly noise and you need to actually search a lot to find hip hop music that isn't with mumble rap or auto-tuned rap whatsoever. So this is the type of rap music that I like from the late 80s, early 90s, the vibe at least. And the rapping is clear, the song is melodic and really laid back. This is exactly what I like about hip hop music. And when it is like this, I love a whole lot. This is amazing. So thank you very much for the suggestion. There were a lot of people that wanted me to review this song and now I understand why you wanted me to review this song. I will be writing the, the, the review itself as well because I haven't reviewed the Road to Legend CD, so I will be reviewing this song written. But you get already these impressions, which were my very first impressions to the full song. So thank you very much to uh, Skylin Will and Fanny and all other people that suggested this song. It was too many people to name. Uh, I can feel that you guys teamed up uh, to suggest the song. Thank you very much for sending in the, the suggestion. And as well, thank you very much to everyone for watching this episode. And I hope you enjoyed this song. And if you want to listen to it, there's a link below that in which you can actually go and check the CD, all the CD, uh, all the songs in the CD, as well as Buraikan's Do or Die. If you enjoyed this episode and want to watch more, there's a link in this episode to a playlist featuring all the episodes so far in the Review Advent Calendar series. Those are over 50 and includes three years in total of content. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching this episode and I'll see you guys soon.